Today I'm going to show you how you can import a texture pack for Minecraft Bedrock Edition. So to get started with importing your Minecraft Bedrock Edition texture pack, what you want is just to have located your texture pack right over here. You want to make sure that Minecraft Bedrock Edition is also installed correctly. And if it is, then you should have this grass icon right here. If you don't have a grass icon, but instead an icon that looks like one of these, that might mean that you've accidentally downloaded a pack that was meant for Minecraft Java and not Minecraft Bedrock Edition. Anyways, you should just be able to double click on that pack and Minecraft will automatically launch and open. However, if it doesn't, what you want to do is right click it, go to open with, and then select Minecraft or Minecraft preview if you want to open it in that. Anyways, once again, as you can see, when I select that, Minecraft is going to automatically launch for me. And once it loads, it's going to start importing the pack. As you can see, the import has started, and now they've successfully imported It's Me64's tool revamp. Do you see that? It's me 64s. That's right. I make a bunch of texture packs and if you want to check those out, I'll link those down in the description below. Anyways, to now go ahead and enable that, you want to head over to settings, then to global resources right over here, and then to this my packs tab. Under my packs, you should be able to find the pack you just imported. Yeah, so in my case, that was It's me 64s tool revamp. As you can see, this one you can see right there. Now, once you activate that, you can see that it's going to be under the active tab. Now, let's say that you have multiple packs enabled. Um, hold on, there we go. Let's say you have multiple packs enabled like this. What you want to do is make sure that the pack you just enabled is at the very top. That way, it has the most priority, and if it, if it doesn't have enough priority, it might actually not work. Anyways, once you go out, as you can see, I just enabled two packs, so this is also happening. Check this pack out as well, um, link in the description. Anyways, we can just deactivate that, but the um, tool revamp pack by me is now still enabled. And now that's one way to enable it, but you and that'll enable it for every single world, as well as every single server or realm you join. However, there is also actually another way to enable texture packs. To do that, you can head into the world in which you want to enable the texture pack, go to resource packs, and then under my packs, just do the exact same thing that we did before. Anyways, what this is going to do is this is going to enable this pack, but only for the selected world. The way I did it in the general settings here enables it, as I said, for every single world you have, including realms and servers. Anyways, it's still enabled, so we can just load up whichever world we want, which in my case is my redstone testing world. And we can just go ahead and test it out. So we can go over to tools here, and as you can see, all these tools have indeed been revamped. As you can see, the pack has been enabled successfully. Anyways, if you have any more questions, then make sure to leave those down in the comments below. But for right now, that's basically it. Thank you ever so much for watching, and I hope to see you again in the next one. Bye-bye.